quick video. I the saga I thought we were over with with the Miles Turner Buddy Healed rumors, but we gotta make one more address to it because a report has came out that allegedly this is coming from I believe Zach Lowe. And Zach Lowe says that the one I've said I would sleep over if I were Miss Bus or Mr. Polinka is a trading both picks of the Pacers for Buddy Heald and Miles Turner. My best intel right now is if the Lakers called the Indiana Pacers right now and said both picks unprotected, the Pacers would do that deal, would probably do that deal, unquote. This is coming from Zach Lowe. I want to hear your thoughts before we continue the videos. By the way, we just hit 8,000. We're on the way to 10,000. Join at 150 videos a month, five videos a day. Done with that promo. Now, I want to hear your thoughts down below. Would you do this deal? Obviously, this would include Russell Westbrook would be the deal buddy healed and miles turner for russell westbrook and this is where i go like should they even think about doing this because i've sold myself on the idea that russell westbrook dennis schroeder and pat bev is actually you know a lot better than most people think so my thought is with this current lakers roster do you think giving up russell westbrook after they the lakers have spent the last month convincing us that a pat bev devin Sh dennis schroeder and russell westbrook rotation at the point guard spot is actually going to be good i actually think the defensive capabilities of that is really good you know russell westbrook and pat bev are supposedly best friends okay pat bev is coming out saying russell westbrook has been his best friend since he's been there and that's where it all gets interesting to me what really is the the best thing for this team because it's an interesting situation because yes miles turner would then give you miles turner thomas bryan damian jones but i keep looking at this team like the milwaukee bucks and if they have damian jones and thomas bryant that's more than enough especially if they have anthony davis who's also going to moonlight at center they got lebron james okay juan scott anderson you know troy brown and I, like, I know this isn't on paper looking like a great team, but I think in theory, this could be a really good team. And I know Westbrook's future is the question that's dominated the Lakers summer. The Lakers have yet to find a trade that makes them both more competitive in the short term and the financial flexibility for the summer of 2023 and beyond, which does not require them sending out two of their draft picks, which they've tried this whole offseason not to do. So that's the whole thing is like, why would they give up two picks when this whole offseason they said they haven't going to do that? I mean, if they trade Westbrook and one pick for Buddy Heald and Turner, that's cool. I would do that. But anything more, I wouldn't do that. I don't see the purpose in that due to the fact that, like I previously said, they want to find, like obviously getting Turner and Heald are awesome, but they're expiring contracts. So it gives them the financial flexibility, but you know, it screws them long-term with the draft picks. So it's a tall ask considering their assets in the current market for Westbrook. If they don't find a deal, you know, at this point in training camp, the complex matter of how they approach Westbrook's role is already being shown. They reported last year that, you know, sources indicate that the Lakers are considering bringing Westbrook off the bench and being a defensive guy, but even more, they want him to earn the starting spot. And it seems like he is earning that starting spot in training camp and he's responding well. And these are all questions that are going to be answered with the weeks to come and i think this is something that why would why would we trade him there's no point at this point it, like the only reason we're trading westbrook would be because somebody wanted to okay it's not because it'd be in the best interest of the franchise no it'd be because somebody wanted to do this so that's where i sit here and i think is this what we're doing is this really what we're doing so i don't know that's basically my thoughts on the whole matter i think it's an interesting situation they've put themselves in and that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. If you were the Los Angeles Lakers, what what are you doing and why? Because the whole the whole thing is just bonkers to me and it just feels like a broken record and it feels like at this point the the indiana pacers want to do this deal more than the lakers want to do the deal themselves so i if i were the the pa lakers i would tell the pacers go suck a dick because we don't want to do this deal and again this could just be me being you know crazy and just not even thinking about it but hey i think it's definitely an interesting one and it's something fun to look at because what is going on okay what is going on i don't know and i think that's why it's so much fun to think about this stuff but at the same time it's it's it is getting annoying to the point like no we're over it we're done we get it okay but that's basically it i hope you guys do have a great day enjoy you know yeah enjoy your time do whatever you need to do but 
Hey, is there is there any information you wanted to hear that I might have glossed over? And I feel like I talked about everything. I don't I don't know what else we'd want to talk about, but that's basically it. Cause I think yeah, we we basically talked about it all. So have a good day. Enjoy, I guess, the rest of the your weekend. I don't know when you're watching this, so enjoy. Yeah, I think I think we did well. We did a good job. So bye. Yeah, bye.